I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Tuesday, the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee held a hearing on extreme drought in the western U.S. The western United States is currently facing record drought, which threatens agriculture production and energy generation. Senator John Barrasso said that between inflation and high gas prices, Americans, quote, can't afford a grocery tax on top of all of that. Take a listen in to the Wyoming Senator's full opening statement. Th thanks so much, Mr. Chairman, for holding this important hearing today on the devastating drought that we're uh, living through in the West. Uh, first, I want to welcome uh, Pat O'Toole of Savory, Wyoming, to be at the committee today as a member of our, of our panel. Mr. O'Toole, thanks so much for agreeing to testify today. You've been here in the past to testify. You always provide valuable insight, and I'm glad you're here to provide that insight today on this important topic. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to give a more extensive introduction uh, of Pat, who is formerly a member of the Wyoming Legislature, when we get to that point in terms of the witness testimony. Extreme drought is a serious concern to all Westerners, but especially to small rural farming and ranching communities in Wyoming. Drought can create conditions for catastrophic wildfires that threaten homes and communities. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, over 27,000 wildfires have already burned close to 2 million acres this year, and, and it's all across the country. Drought also reduces recreational and tourism opportunities, reduces related jobs around reservoirs and public lands, uh, and of now, according to the National Ocean Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, 36 national parks, over 400 ski resorts, and over 1,500 reservoirs are experiencing moderate to exceptional drought. Drought impacts energy production and availability. Low water levels threaten the operator of hydro dams, which provide a significant amount of carbon-free electricity to Western communities, and you mentioned that in your opening statement, Mr. Chairman. Lack of water availability also threatens hydraulic fracturing. This is a process which produces abundant supplies of clean, natural gas. Drought denies water to vital grazing lands and alfalfa fields necessary for feeding and raising cattle. This can result in significant economic impacts for communities that depend on agriculture and ranching to create jobs. When the farms and ranches stop producing because of a lack of water, it doesn't just put farmers and ranchers out of work, it increases the cost of food. This hits families in the West and across the country who can afford it the least. American families are dealing with skyrocketing inflation and record-breaking gas prices at the pump, the highest in history today. Can't afford a grocery drought tax on top of all of that, uh, which is going to clearly bust family household budgets even further. The problems and impacts of drought are clear. What Westerners need are solutions. This means we need solutions to help upper basin states like Wyoming be in compliance with their obligations to other Colorado River Basin states. These solutions include providing flexibility in the operation of Bureau of Reclamation facilities to better manage available water resources. We also need to develop better data to understand how much water our state and other states are using and account for that use. Improved data is going to help us understand what the drought is doing to our states and to our water users all across all sectors. Better forecasting data will also identify drought-related problems before they arise. We also need to invest in additional water storage opportunities to more effectively use the water that we do have. Building more water storage will give Wyoming and other states the water they need. It will provide system resiliency and will help maintain stream flows to benefit fish and wildlife. The stakes could not be higher, Mr. Chairman. We need short and long-term solutions that provide Westerners the water they need. Any policies that do not ensure the health, safety, and economic well-being of American families first are not policies worth pursuing. More water storage, improved federal flexibility, better data, and improved forecasting can help accomplish these goals. Upper and lower basin states benefit from working together to address the drought and accomplish these goals. Again, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I look forward to hearing from the witnesses.